Okay, just checking the uh, bias amplitude. Um, I've tuned it to the tape before, but um, for now, but I've got the two channels showing the exact amplitude at uh, 74 kilohertz. And that point is on the circuit diagram is just here on the record head. Plus this 100 ohm uh, resistor there. Um, I connected it on the, this is the oscillator board here with the ECC82 and the two adjustments for the left and right which are shown on the circuit board. Are these, so that's just showing you how adjusted the amplitudes are, are, are equal, 200 millivolts there. Just connected them onto the um, 100 ohm resistors which are in there. These are the uh, adjusters here and if I um, Put a screwdriver in into one and just show you as I adjust it up and down. That's the yellow one up and down. So I've adjusted them exactly the same. Adjusting the bias traps on the Revox. Now on the circuit diagram we've got um, the bias trap here and the other channel. It's on this valve number V5. Uh, pin 6 and pin 1 and uh, so I've connected it up, that's valve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I've got it connected on pin 1 and pin 6 around the back. Now um, setting these both at 200 millivolts, um, now I've adjusted one, the red one right down Use on these uh, tuning slugs here. These cans here, there's one here and one round the back. Now I've got, I made this um, tiny little uh, short screwdriver so I could just get it into the back of the slug there, but I can't get my hand in to do the other one round the other side, which is the um, one for the yellow trace so I'm I just can't get my hand in there and, um, so it's got this is quite large so the tuning slugs obviously way out um, by the way on the circuit diagram for two track it says down here two track that that resistor is direct which I mean in shorted out Four track is 15k. This is a two track, but it, when I checked it out, it was set sell the resistor in. So um, I put little shorts across there. It makes a tiny difference. So I managed to set the uh, the other channel by turning it off and getting my hand inside, turning it, and then uh, turning it off and having a little turn this way and that until I've got it the best I can. Which is pretty close, both channels are about the same now on the um, signals, that's minimum that I can get on the bias track. We tune in the output bias track on this um, Mark 3G36. The uh, Down here are the two uh, variable inductors and uh, they're quite hard to get in the screwdriver in the back so I've got this really long screwdriver it goes in a little slot and you turn the slug in and out uh, looking at the yellow one at the moment on the screen it's showing 74 kilohertz which is the bias and um, you have to turn the slug to get the minimum so I've already done it but I'll show you if I turn it one way the yellow is getting bigger Let's turn it the other way and it gets smaller then it starts getting bigger again. So turn it so it's as small as you can get it, which is about there. Now the, um, the red one is more difficult to get to, it's at the back, but uh, so the red one is the slug at the back, um, using this very long screwdriver, get it into the slot in the back of the slug and uh, 
turn it one way it's the red one's getting bigger turn it the other way and it, it gets about that low left right it's getting bigger that way minimum bigger so I can't really get it any lower than it's about twice the size of the other one um, I haven't done the bias traps on the other side but I don't know if that'll help um, on the input further back in the circuit but anyway they were way out when I first adjusted them uh, way way out so we've got them down quite a long way you know that's how you do the bias traps in that very awkward place